everyone, my name is Jess and today's video I'm gonna talk about is the walking desk really worth your money? All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I post content every single Monday and it will help you get reminded. All right, so you are here because you're wondering Am I still using the walking treadmill desk? It's been two to three years, Jess, since you posted the video. We really wanna know, do you use it? So the answer is interesting. <laughs> I use it, I have used it, and I am starting to use it again, but I was pregnant. I was pregnant twice in the last three years, and I found it very challenging when uh, I had a larger stomach and a little bit out of breath to move the treadmill under my desk and work at the same time while being pregnant. That is not the ideal situation for me. I um, really was out of breath and I couldn't do a phone call even sitting at my desk without being out of breath. So if you're pregnant or planning to be pregnant, maybe buy it after, but also, if you live in cold climates where it's not possible to go outside um, and you do need to stay at your desk while working and you primarily sit and maybe sometimes stand, I would say 100% it is worth it. Now, this specific model is not cheap. It is over a thousand Canadian, maybe under in USD if you are living in, in the United States, but it's not cheap, right? It is made out of very good quality materials it is very easy to lift and move it under the desk where at the end of this video, I will show you how that works or you can, you can go to my other video and you also need to invest in a rising desk, whether that is through a crank or through electric outlet, you need to make sure you have both, right? I find the monitor situation that I have is really good for working from home. You just need to make sure that you're set up and that you get used to it little by little. So I would say start 15 minutes a day walking while working at the same time and ease into it, adding maybe 10 to 15 minutes per day. And I used to walk and starting to work back up to it two to three hours per day on my walking treadmill. Now, that is, I would say, not even realistic for the average person to walk that much when they have an office desk or they're going to an office. It is a way to get my brain going. Sometimes in the summertime, I like to take my calls outside and then, uh, then, the, then the treadmill desk is not worth it. But I would say if you're in a cold climate, and you're not getting outside because it's minus 30, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, get the desk. It's, it's crucial for us to not be sitting all the time at our desk. Um, if you are working at a larger organization, sometimes they even give you a little bonus. If you buy some uh, fitness equipment, you can absolutely put this on that. I believe they even reimbursed me for the full, not the full credit of the treadmill, but the full amount that I had through my benefits. And um, if you have any questions on this specific model, I'm gonna put a little clip here at the end. Okay, so the hard thing is when you are working and so back to back on meetings, I forget to get all ready, put my shoes on because it does take time and you almost have to schedule it in your calendar that you are going to walk. So I've upgraded my shoes since the last video, clearly not my socks and pants, but that's fine. And um, it's been working by scheduling in the time once to twice per day. Just get your shoes on, get into position, and let's go. So here's a little bit of a mess. I'm exposing my cable management. You will see why, because when you elevate the desk, all those cables need to stretch to the length that you have. So as previous videos, I am using the Prime Cables Ergo legs. It's not the desk specifically. You can attach these legs to any type of tabletop you want. It could be a lot nicer than this white desk, but I find it's really good for business and this is at full height, so my cables are a little bit messy. Maybe next time I'll clean it up a little bit more. But this is really the legs that's attached to the desk. Now that it's up, I am going to show you what it's like that 
to you know to move the treadmill into place it's quite light i'm not the strongest person in the world so has wheels and you just roll it in you can see i moved my chair over on the right side on another desk that i have and there you go it is all set up and ready to go the only thing that you need to do is you need to plug it into power as well as plug it into your tabletop lifespan uh, control panel so sorry for all the cables again. I'm really exposing myself, but there's a start and stop button. You can add your weight and really just click start. It will count you down three, two, one, and you are starting to walk. I find that while walking on the treadmill, it's really easy to have phone calls, check emails. I wouldn't do it with a brand new customer. If you have a new customer, probably stay seated and focused. And again, sorry for all the dust there. It's a good reminder that I need to clean my office floor. <laughs> but if you can find the time and you are still working from home, either one to two or even three times a week, I would highly recommend it, especially if you're living in Canada in the colder months when you don't find yourself going outside or it gets dark at five o'clock. This treadmill desk is a great um, resolution even for you to get walking more during the day. All right guys, so that was the treadmill desk. If you do have any questions and you're still wondering, do I do I do it this winter? Do it. Let me know what you uh, what you purchased and I will see you next Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.